want to get another check of the rain that might be coming here. Yeah, it's been taking its time. Everyone's waiting for it. It seems like we get a little glancing blow. We get these dark clouds. I wanted to show you the Lee Canyon cam to look how dark they are over the mountains. No surprise with that storm over Mount Charleston, 64 degrees there. But lower valley areas, you see all that haze. Yeah, that is just quite simply those particulates in the air and the moisture combined with that just lets it hang there like a curtain. It obscures the mountains and everything else. It might even obscure your view from maybe your porch or something like that. But look at the intense temperatures with the 20 plus percent humidity levels and 106. Yeah, that's just disgusting stuff out there. So try to stay cool on that. Uh, so far, we're watching storms, believe it or not, out to the west, but more so, I'm more curious about these out toward the east of us. Air quality alerts for Phoenix. That's not our issue right here, although there is probably an air quality element with what we're seeing with that curtain of brown hanging over the valley. But all of these storms and what's left of these storms coming in and moving westward, that rush of air as they collapse. Now, it looks like everything's going southward, but if any of this pushes west at all, that's something that we'll need to be uh, looking at closely, especially for this early evening to see if that could come into the valley and create some storms. So that's why our window of opportunity to pick up some showers is obviously happening not in the valley, but out outside the valley up until about eight or nine tonight. So we're watching that and then even some later on. So we'll keep watching that. But let me show you how it's going to work out. Take a nice long look at our next seven days and you'll see because you want to know when is the start? When is the stop? Well, we know we're thick into the summer monsoon. Now you're feeling the air. It's just really hanging over the valley and only a good shower will help to cool that down. Although that being said, the next several days, we because of all that moisture, there's so much going on as far as bringing the temperatures down. So we will actually drop into the 90s for a spell. But remember, humidity levels will be at an all time high. And if you follow dew points, you know that that's a very high number right there as well. We're not desert dry anymore. And it looks like for the next oh, month or two, at least two months, we'll probably hold on to this pattern where the uh, temperatures are very hot and it's very sticky outside. So you see for the coming weekend, things start to wind down as far as storms are concerned. But early this week, if we don't see a big blow up in for tonight, we'll have some potential to really see all that moisture get unlocked in the next several days. So we'll be watching it, we'll be tracking it for you and giving you the 13 first alert. Back to you, Masa. Okay, thank you.